Hello gentlemen, let's go over the 5 systems needed by the diesel generator in order to run. Let's go over first the fresh water system. The blue lens is the fresh water system. We have here the LT cooler and the HT cooler being cooled by seawater. Here is the LT pump and this is the HT pump. Above is the expansion tank. We have here the preheater. It is disconnected. This is the preheater switch. There is the preheater motor. These ones are the air intake coolers. This one is being cooled by HT while the second stage is being cooled by LT. The darker blue lines is the LT system while the lighter blue is the HT. Now how do we prepare the fresh water system? First check the expansion tank level we will maintain a 50% level. In case there is a need to fill up the tank, just open this valve. This line is coming from the hydro port tank. Then when you fill it up to 50%, close the valve. Then in order to raise this inlet temperature of the jacket cooling, go to the preheater and switch on. The preheater will connect and the inlet temperature of the jacket cooling will rise. That's how to prepare the fresh water system. Next, let's go to the fuel system. Here is the fuel system. We have here filter number one and filter number two. We have two filters. Then this is the fuel pump. Beside the pump is a shut off valve. Then we have here a three way valve. It is here where the diesel oil and the HF will change over. This yellow line is the diesel. Let's stretch the diesel system. The continuation of this line is in model diagram number 005. It says here from DO service tank. So click this number and we will be transferred to number 05 fuel oil service tanks we have here the HFO service tank and we have here the DO service tank the model diagram where we came from is number 75 so this is the continuation of the diesel line so we have here a valve and a quick closing valve then the DO service tank now let's go back to model diagram 75 So how do we prepare the fuel oil system? We will open filter number one valve. This one, open this one. Then the shut off valve. Open this shut off valve. And check that the three-way valve is selected to diesel. Then go ahead and confirm that the valves in the service tank are open. Check these valves that they are open, then go back to 75. That's how to prepare the fuel oil system. Next, let's go to the starting air system. This is our starting air line. You can check the pressure here. And in case we have a problem with the pressure, we will investigate in model diagram number 59. We are now in number 59, the starting air system. The diagram where we came from is diagram number 75. So this is the continuation. In this diagram, you can see here main compressor number one, 
main compressor number 2, and this is the emergency starting air compressor. We have main air receiver number 1, air receiver number 2, and the emergency starting air receiver. Now, these are the valves to be checked. This one, the outlet from the air receiver. This is the inlet valve. And the emergency compressor. Now, let's go back to 75. So, how do we prepare the starting air system? Since we have a reading of uh, 0 bars, and a low pressure alarm we need to go to 59 and check we need to open this valve by the way this one is leading to generator number two if you are planning to start diesel generator number two then open this as well check that the outlet valve is open and in case you need to increase the air charge check that the inlet valve is open then, to start the compressor, put it to local control, then click on. Then go back to 75. Wait for the alarm to disappear. And that's how to prepare the starting air system. Let's proceed to the lube oil system. You can see here the lube oil sump tank. This is the right glass. You can check the oil level here. Right now we have a 24.5% level and a low level alarm. Then we have here our lube oil pumps. We have two lube oil pumps. One is an attached pump indicated by the symbol while the other one is a motor driven pump indicated by this motor drawing this is the priming pump while this pump is inside the engine you can check the discharge pressure here we have our lube oil cooler Then we have two lube oil filters, number one and number two filter. Then into the engine. How do we prepare the lube oil system? In order to rectify the low level alarm, open this valve coming from the storage tank. Then wait for the level to reach 50%, then close the valve. When the sump tank is filled to the right level, we will now prelude the engine. Before starting the priming pump, open filter valve number 1, this one. Then put the pump control to manual, then click the pump. That's how to prepare the lube oil system. Finally, let's go to the seawater system. The seawater system is color-coded green. This is the LT freshwater cooler and the HT freshwater cooler. We have here a lethargy which indicates whether you have a seawater flow. In case you don't have seawater flow, you need to go to diagram number 01. This is the seawater system. This is the seawater system. You will see the low suction sea chest. We have a high suction sea chest. And this is the overboard.
Let's stretch the line from the low suction sea chest. We have here a valve. And we have here three seawater pumps. This is main pump number one, main pump number two, and the auxiliary seawater pump. We have here several coolers. The two big ones are for the main engine. This cooler is the steam condenser. These ones are for the generators. It has a label here, DG1 Freshwater Coolers. This single cooler represents the LT cooler and the HT cooler of generator number one. Well, this one is for the DG2 Freshwater Coolers. Let's go on tracing. Now you have here the overboard. And we have here a valve leading back to the pumps. This is the recirculation valve. And this three-way valve is an automatic valve. You need to put it into auto. Then go ahead and start the pump whichever has a power supply. Then go back to 75. So those are the five systems that we need to prepare in order to start the diesel generator. When you have completed all the five systems, you can now go ahead to the engine control, put it to local, then click start. Then monitor the RPM of the engine indicated by the prefix N. Wait for the engine speed to reach 900 RPM before you put the preheater to auto, the priming pump to auto, and then the engine control from local to remote control. After that, go to model diagram 70 where you will see the bus bar, then connect your generator. We are now in model diagram number 70. This is the electric power plant. You can see here the shaft generator. This is the main engine. We have the DG1 or diesel generator number one. This is the generator engine. We have the DG2 or diesel generator number two. This is the generator engine. DG1 and DG2 are exactly the same. So how you start diesel generator one is exactly the same with how you start diesel generator number two. We also have here turbo generator or TG. This is the turbine. And we have the EG or emergency generator. It has the smallest engine. Now here is the main bus bar. And we have here the emergency bus bar. The power to the emergency bus bar is being supplied by emergency generator. Now let's go to diesel generator number one. If you have started the engine of diesel generator number one, then this circle should turn yellow, just like the emergency generator. It is yellow since the emergency generator engine is running. So assuming that this circle is now yellow, check for the output voltage. There should be a 440 volts output. If you do not see a 440 volts output, go down to voltage control and click on. Then, the output voltage will appear here. If you see the 440 volts, you can now connect the diesel generator 1 to the main bus bar. How do you connect DG1 to the main bus bar? Go to the upper right corner. You can see here DG1, DG2, shaft generator, and turbo generator. Select DG1. Click this button and observe if the red indicator light turns green. If it turns green, it means that DG1 is now ready to be connected to the main bus bar. So click connect. If you click this connect button, this breaker will connect. 
The next action is to get the load of the emergency generator and transfer it to generator number 1. Meaning, this breaker connecting emergency generator and the emergency bus bar should be transferred here. How do you transfer this breaker from emergency generator to here? Go to this breaker and click breaker in. This will connect and this will automatically jump here. Now the load of the emergency generator is removed and transferred to the generator number one. However, during this transition, when this breaker transfers here, the supply power to the auxiliary seawater pump is cut off. So you need to go to the auxiliary seawater pump and restart. Otherwise, diesel generator number one will lose cooling and trip. So let's go to the auxiliary seawater pump in process directory 01. 01 is the seawater system. Go to the auxiliary seawater pump and restart the pump. The pump will restart and the power is being supplied now by generator number 1. After restarting the auxiliary pump, proceed in model diagram number 71 and number 72 and supply power to the other consumers. So go to process directory, model diagram 71, this is the main switchboard starters and number 72 is main switchboard feeders. Go first to 71. And these are the consumers. In order to supply power to the consumers, this button must be clicked in. Right now, all the buttons are clicked in. Next, go to 72, which is the continuation of model diagram 71. And you will find here more consumers. Click all the buttons in. These consumers above are 440 volts, while these below are 220 volts. Now, to have a 220 volt supply, we have another transformer. This is the main transformer. You need to connect the transformer by clicking in. It should be connected like this. Now, you have a 220 volt supply. Then, click all the buttons in to supply power to the 220 volts. These are the lights and the panel boards. When you have supplied power to the consumers, you can now go ahead and start the equipment that you need. For example, we need to start the air ventilation to the engine room. So we go to process directory Number 40, this is the air ventilation system. We have here the engine room supply fans. We have number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. Click them start. We have purifier room fans, sewage room fan. We also have here engine room exhaust fans. We have 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have the accommodation fans. Number 1 and 2, engine control room fan, cargo control room fan. Click the buttons to start. Now we need to put the generator into priority 1 automatic. So go to panel directory generator control 101, power chief generator control. We have here that shaft generator. Diesel generator 1, diesel generator 2, and turbo generator. Go to diesel generator 1. Check that the ready indicator light is lighting green, which means the generator is ready to be put to auto. So click priority 1 and click automatic. In case the ready button is not lighting green, then you cannot put the generator to automatic. So what you should do is go back to 75. This is the diesel generator one. 
and check whether the preheater is in auto and the priming pump is in auto and the engine control is in remote control check also if there is an alarm you need to rectify the alarm then go back to panel directory 101 generator control 101 power chief generator control and check if the ready button is now lighting green if so then click priority one and click auto that's it gentlemen you have watched how to prepare the diesel generator one how to connect it to the bus bar how to supply power to the consumers and finally how to set it to priority one automatic go ahead and try it in your Kongsberg simulator stations good luck